Yeah. Whoa, sir. Hang on. I got to do the intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Out of Our Mains, the show where we're out of our mains, and you probably are too, because you're listening to some hopeless, colorful horse addicts ramble on about a show meant for little girls. I'm Cole, and of course, we have my co-host of many years, Reminish and Violet, and, well, Hi. unfortunately, uh, Winber couldn't be here today, but at least we got Rem. So, Rem, how you doing? You know, I- I'm doing pretty all right, but I'm honestly really excited about our special guest today. Like, I, I'm so excited to talk about him. Oh yeah, our guest today is someone truly special. Straight from the woods of New Jersey, we have Bernie Aprils. Bernie, you coming in there? How you doing? Hi, hi. Hello there. Uh, it's great to have me. Oh yes it is. Oh yes it is. Listen, hey, if anyone's allowed to have that kind of an ego, it's Bernie Aprils because you deserve it. Now, Bernie, uh, I gotta ask, first of all, uh, I know you're in the woods right now. Um, yes. How did you get there? I mean, not many people find themselves lost in the woods. I mean, it is the year of our Lord 2024, and, you know, the woods are a scary place. We know that by now. So mm-hmm. how did you get there? Yeah, well, it started as a, uh, I was trying to do, you know, a little a little bit of a nature documentary kind of a thing. Uh-huh. Because uh, the bank took the the Center for Unappreciated Mares. So I was like, I was, I was looking for, for ways to so make money. So, Bernie, money. Bernie, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. Sorry for cutting you off. I just got. What, what is the C U M? Like, how did that like actually come to be a thing? Sorry for cutting you off. I just, I really want to know. Oh well, that's that's like my magnum opus. That's that's the thing that uh, yeah, I've been working on that for years. Uh, Bobby and I put that together, uh, specifically to cater to uh horse toys. Hmm. Hmm. So wait, so this C U M, this is the Center for Unappreciated Mares, yes. and you lost this business, and that contributed to your current status in the woods yeah the bank b- took the company away from me they, they they siphoned it from me so i had to find some way to make a little bit of money you know what i'm saying yeah so that's then, fair then yeah I, money makes the world go around exactly it really does it's the superpower mm-hmm. so i was like you know how do you how do you make the big bucks how does everyone and their mother get on the level of like you know multi-millionaire status Ooh, you make a nature mother. documentary you make a nature oh, documentary. You make a nature That's documentary. True. I've I seen mean, a lot of nature documentaries, and they I seem mean, pretty profitable. Yeah. I mean, I made one about Starlight, so I think anyone could make a, a if you make a pretty good nature documentary, it it leads to success. I would say. So this nature documentary, I assume, since you're still in the woods, <laughs> it might have uh, gone awry, perhaps. <laughs> I mean, you could say that. Um, so my question, actually, uh, how is the woods? Like, I mean, you've been there for quite some time. As far as I can remember, you've been there since, I believe, around, like, late October, early November. Like, how long has it been? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been months. It's been months. Um, months? It's been months. Months I've been out here. Uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's lovely out here. And I mean, nature, I mean, it's not, it's not really, it's terrible. It, it's awful. But, um. Wait, 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 Bernie. I, th- I thought you got, like, didn't you get, like, a helicopter, like, to HarmonyCon or something like that? Why oh, yeah, you, yeah. We, I was like, at HarmonyCon, the... and yeah, I'm I saw sure you I saw stage you. stage. I saw you there. Yeah, uh, Bobby C. I think you carried, I think you carried me out on stage, actually, at one point. I did, yeah. We, uh, it, we had a lovely little moment there together. Well, yeah, but why are you back in the woods, though? Well, see, here's the thing. Bobby C.'s, uh, the host of My Little Millionaire, was gracious enough to pay for a helicopter to come out and find me and airlift me out of the woods all the way to Dallas. Unfortunately, he paid for a two-way trip. So when HarmonyCon was over, uh, I, I had to go right back. Well, yeah, that makes sense because you didn't want to waste his money or anything like that. Exactly. I was, yeah. It was, oh, yeah. I mean, when you, when you get a two-way trip, you're kind of, you know, you have to go back. You know, thanks well, to yeah. U.S. law, thanks to United States law, helicopter trips are non-refundable. That's just in the Constitution. Mm-hmm. Uh, it yeah, is. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Speaking Franklin. of the Constitution, you've lived quite the eclectic life, and uh, I think you were actually there at the signing of the Constitution. Wait, ta- was, I remember what? you talking about this. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't so much there as I was watching through the window. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, it was, was fascinating. It? Men arguing, getting sweaty. It... Wait, wait. What did those wait. wigs look like in person that they wore? I want to, I need to know. Uh, white and powdered. Ooh, they do call them white powdered wigs. What were you going to say, Rem? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm wondering. Bernie, how old are you? Oh, yeah, I couldn't possibly tell. Oh, yeah, yeah Bernie's you've at least, is a mystery. You've got to be at least 50, right? Like, if you were there at the constitutional signing. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. All right, well, 
That makes sense. I, you do sound like a bit of a boomer, but I, I respect full boomer. You're a pretty good boomer. Hey, well, yeah, I, think I, think, that, I like to think I keep my youthful complexion. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you, you don't look a day over, over 15. Thank you. I think calling Bernie April's a boomer is a bit of an exaggeration. He's he's at at low. I would say at most he's Gen X, you know. But come on, he's he's a millennial man at heart. I can tell. Oh yeah, you know I love like, those doggos and the puppets. Oh yes, indeed. More, I'm thinking he's more like Gen Z, to be completely honest. I mean, like Bernie, Bernie's like Gen Z, right? Yeah, Yolo <laughs> swag. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he could be Gen Alpha. I have seen his TikToks. <laughs> Are those some good TikToks? Um, no, but they are his, so automatically, yes. Yeah, oh. that's how it works. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, anything Bernie does is great. Speaking of anything that Bernie does that is great, I do have a question. You know, I asked about the CUM, but honestly, how did you think of a genius device like the Panice? Well, see, that- Wait, wasn't my, that a- oh, My alarm's going off. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It knows about the Panice. Um, it was excited about that Panice over there. So I'm actually pretty, uh, I've done my research, and I'm very well versed on the CUM history. Well, go uh, right ahead, let's see. Um, if it, Under my uh, interpretations, I believe it was Bobby who brought up the idea of the Panice, but you perfected it, right? Yeah, it's, see, it's one of those inventions that's bred out of necessity, you know? Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, so, you know, it was one of those ideas that Bobby saw and was just like, this needs to be a thing the world needs a panice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i mean honestly i agree i don't know what the world would do if i was yeah a i was you know i wasn't you know gonna say no I no mean, don't do that i mean i was gonna say you know you know make it i gotta it. say like i have my own panice i got i bought I mean, a panice the very yeah, good I, mean, very good. I love my and panice it's great I use my panice all the time. It is one of the most useful things I've ever done. All, you just give it a shake and it does everything you need. It is I know. like I've sprayed all of my ponies with my panice. Dude, all of my ponies, like when I spray them with my panice, I can practically hear them thanking me. Well, it is like for. that magical. Yeah. For those of you in the audience who might be confused, like what's a panice? I understand. We we probably should explain. That's the pony enhancement and nourishment industrial sanitizer. Um, introduced by the CUM, I believe in, oh, was it 1993 when that one came out or 1992? It was one no, of those, No, right? no, it was no, right no, 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 no. right at the tail end of 92. No, right at the tail what? end of 92. I thought it was 1991. No, 1991 was, I think, the alpha version. They had to bring out the beta and then we were, finally yeah, we, we were doing screenings the, for it. It wasn't an official product It yet. was just a snapshot. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it was okay. just a photo yeah, yeah. of the product. So, yeah, wait. yeah. But speaking of the Panice, though, you were talking about Bobby Junes and all that. I, mm -hmm. I do have to ask, how did you meet Bobby? Like, you teams seem to be inseparable. But Bobby and I go way back, let me tell you. How far? I gotta know, because I, I'm just curious, because I know Bobby and I, I think we were born in the same hospital. We kind of look alike. It's, I don't know. Were you, and, you know, um, that makes a lot of sense. But, Wait, what, uh, I mean, Winber was born in the same hospital as Bernie, right? Yes. Yeah, I wish yeah, he we could be here today. He wanted to meet you so bad, and I know he never got to see you at HarmonyCon either, because no, you two were always in we different were just areas. Never in the same place at the same time. Yeah. It was rough. yeah. So yeah. Anyways, back to Bobby. Sorry, I, I I'm I have ADHD, so I just I get a little distracted. Sometimes. <laughs> no worries, man. I know how you feel. Oh wait, hang on. Speaking of distractions, uh -oh. you know what that sound means. It's time for the PMV of the week, everybody. Here it comes. Wow, another Whoa, lovely one from Studio Cinemagic, guys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, sorry about that. You were saying something about Bobby Junes, I believe, is where we were before before that happened. Yep. Yeah, Bobby Junes and I actually met in a uh, baking competition. A baking competition. Ooh. Yeah, we were uh, split into groups of uh, two, and we were put on the same team together. And we had to make a souffle, and I didn't know what I was doing, but Bobby was the one that really carried us through. He knew how to make a souffle. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm I'm glad he managed to carry you, I, I suppose. So, if you're good at souffles, I assume that, uh, like, baking, is this just a common hobby for you, Mr. Aprils? Oh, no, I'm terrible at it. He was the one that carried our team. Oh, so, so wait, Bobby's the baker. So, Baker so Bobby. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Why did you join the, the, the whole thing if you, you didn't know how to bake? Why, why did I join the competition without knowing how to bake? Yeah, like, genuinely, I just, you know, I, I, with how wise you are, I just, I wanted to know, like, what your thought process was. It must have been, like, you had to have something happening that made you think you need to go to this competition, right? I, I live a philosophy where if I see a sign advertising an event, I'm going to sign up for it. You know what? Fair enough. That, that's a good philosophy, I think. 
So, like, what other events have you signed up for then? I'm curious, since that's your philosophy, you must have been part of multiple events throughout history, even. Yeah, I was, uh, I did the, uh, the, I was part of the great hot dog eating contest fiasco of, uh, 1998. I was, that was part you? of, yeah, well, it wasn't me, but I was there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Believe me, if I was the one in the competition, it wouldn't have been a fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, if there's anything I could say about you, you look like a man who can just down a hot dog. Yeah, you gotta bald dog it. I, I'm gonna be real, I think we're starting to get really off track here. You know, we're a show about colorful horses, so first, I gotta ask two questions. One, Bernie, what is your favorite color? Uh, it's tough to describe exactly. It's like, it's like sort of a gold, but also kind of a beige tan. Oh, like your jacket! I guess, yeah. Oh, but that, that's that's a fun connection. So is that why you wear that jacket all the time? It just reminds you of your favorite color? No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, oh that's so wacky. You know, I think your life is full of a lot of coincidences. Um, <laughs> a bunch of quirky. Because as far as I'm aware, uh, another event you, I, I, I'm pretty sure you were there, was the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. And I know you had, you didn't have a oh part in it, but you were there for that, right? <laughs> It's a little soon to be talking about that, though, don't you think? I know, I know. But listen, we are a podcast that is not afraid to touch the touchy subjects. So I want to bring up the assassination of Abraham Lincoln because it's an important event in our recent history. And I know that you are a person who could speak on this since you witnessed it. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I was uh, I was actually in like the balcony booth uh, right next to Lincoln. Wow, so you have to be pretty high up in the government to get those balcony booths. So at the time, you must have been like a deity or something, right? Uh, we, we were just good friends. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he got me the he got me the seat. It was one of those wait. where you have to use like the little binoculars to actually see anything. Wait, wait, oh, you do you still good, have? Wait, those? wait, 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 wait. You're still you're, you were good friends with him. Yeah. So that must I mean, have really I mean, hit you really I, hard. I like to think of it that way. I think it was a little one way. Uh oh. But he still gave you the tickets, even though it might have been one way. Yeah. Or are you saying he was friends yeah, with you, but you weren't friends side. with yeah. him? Is that what I thought is? he was a great guy, but we, I, I just never oh, really uh, put out the effort to get close, you know? So, but, like, obviously, everyone knows about it. It's a pretty, It was pretty big news. I remember them talking about it on CNN, like, the other night. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, he, got, he got shot. He died. So, yeah. like, how did, that, how did that impact you? Um, honestly, I was, uh, I was pretty shocked. I was pretty shocked. I, you know, you get up to go to the P for 35 minutes. And you come back, oh, and, he's, yeah. and he's gone. You know, a 35-minute pee usually ends in nothing but, mm -hmm. like, fabulous good times, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I imagine your next 35-minute pee, you're going to think twice and be like, oh, no, I hope someone's not dead on the other end, right? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, man. I, I do got to ask another question. Like, sorry, again, I'm talking over you a bit, Cole, but um, I, I need to ask. What is your favorite horse? I mean, again, this is a, a, a podcast all about colorful horses, and I just, I want to know who is your favorite horse, you know? My personal favorite, you know, being uh, Pinkie Pie, so I just, I wanted to know, you know? Well, let me tell you something. Hell hath no fury like a chestnut mare. Oh, amen, brother. <laughs> um, that's not what, but... yeah, yeah, you know, you got a good point. Now, actually, speaking of chestnuts, I know you're a big fan of assorted nuts, but, like, you know when you get the assorted nuts, uh, there's always mostly peanuts, and I know you wanted to make this invention uh, of a nut bag where you actually get to, like, decide the, the, um, the portions of nuts, but this, just, this technology is just too advanced, and you're like, you just haven't figured it out yet. Mm. How they have not figured it out yet. How is the current advancement on the CUM's nut bag? It's, uh, it's, it's, right now, it's in its infancy, but, um... We're hoping to uh, we're hoping to push down the line soon. Uh, hey, Bernie, that actually reminds me. I have a bit of a customer problem. Speaking of, um, my panice. What do you do when you accidentally spray your panice on your nuts? We've Anyways, already talked like about track. the panice. You yeah, know, we've so already we, talked we, we, about yeah, the panice. Sorry, I'm just you know? such a big fan. Um, I, I want to ask though, Bernie. Um, I was watching anthology at one point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is Barry Springtime? Oh. Oh my god! You know, Whoa, Bram, you can't just bring that guy up. That's too soon. Listen, but, I, no, but, no, no, it's it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out who he is. Like Barry, is he your, he's your he's like your main rival or something? Barry Springtime is a no good two timing flim flamming son of a gun. Ooh, and whoa, he's Bernie, this is a PG and, podcast. Okay, I'm sorry. But he just, yeah, he just, Jesus, he just, what the fuck, Bernie? He just really ruffles my feathers. You know what I mean? 
Okay, that's better. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little, uh, a little emotional over Ivy. Mean, it's okay. It's okay to cry. We love you. I'll, I'll switch the. To- I can switch the topic. I, I, I you know what? I'm sorry. You know? Maybe, Maybe, I'll, tell you what. I'll, ju- I'll just say this. Don't listen to him. He's he's a liar and a swindler and a con man, and he's he's conned me out of multiple th- uh, inventions of my own. So. Um, oh yeah, yeah. He just he's right. just yeah he's just no good. Yeah. Okay. We, we can well, we can talk more about Barry later if you want to, but let's yeah, yeah we'll yeah, move on yeah, to something yeah, else. Yeah, like that rain bow dash. I mean, that's a better topic, right? Oh like, yeah, a, he. I'm pretty who? sure he was on this podcast one time. He might have. I don't remember, but. Um, yeah, are you aware of this Rainbow Dash um, fiend who has been l- kind of like dipping their toes in multiple wait, wait, areas? Wait, 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 Rainbow Dash is going to be a guest on one of my videos when I eventually make it. It's been a year, but they seemed pretty chill back then. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure they've been trying to involve themselves like forcibly into multiple areas of the fandom, like without anyone else's consent. They just do it. Um, but Bernie, what have you heard about this? I, I haven't, not at all. I. I don't know. Are are you saying you're saying Rainbow Dash? No, 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 no. The no Rainbow no, no. Dash Rain is a Bo pony. Rainbow Dash. Like Rainbow Dash. He's a menace. Interesting. No, I, I mean, if, I mean, if he's a menace, I want nothing to do with him. Yeah, like not even I mean, like Barry's a fun. Already menace. enough of a thorn in my side. I don't need more. Yeah, this isn't like a Dennis the Menace, like hee hee ha ha. Like this is the type of person that'll like that'll like poison your soup like mildly with not, not like anything crazy. He'll just put too much salt in it and laugh at you. You know, actually, that's a good, that that's a good thing to bring up. That's a great thing to bring up, though. Bernie, what type of soup do you like? Yeah, what's your, ooh, that's a good question. I love a good soup. Uh, you know, uh, I love a good uh, chicken corn chowder. Ooh. If anyone knows anything about me, it's that I cannot stop eating the animal products, and I love a good chicken corn chowder. Oh, yeah, yeah Cole, you, I, I know you love like to eat all your meat and stuff, but you got to keep in mind, man, some people are vegans. I, hey, listen, if you're a vegan, you're just a silly goober, all right? Like, veganism, like, even oh, for oh, health man. reasons, is just a lie. It's a fraud. I, I know, I know we're saying, but listen, we are not afraid to touch the controversial subjects here I know, on right? the Out of Our like, Mates podcast. People say stuff like they're allergic to meat or something. Like, that's not Oh, real. yeah. Imagine, Skill like, issue. do you really think, do you think dairy and egg allergies are real? I don't think so. I mean, um, I, I I thought I had a dairy allergy as a kid, but as I got older, it went away. So therefore, it has to be fake, you know. Oh yeah, like, listen, that you have an allergy. Me, yeah. You have an allergy. Just get over it. Like, come on. Anyway, moving on. I I I know I don't need to hamper on this because everyone agrees with me. Um, Bernie, actually, speaking yeah. of which, uh, how many allergies have you gotten over? Because I know you've you've been through a lot of hardships. Yeah, how many allergies? Yeah, because I know you, you, I remember there was like a, a I, listen, I've read your memoirs mm-hmm. and you've talked about how like you used to have a lot of allergies, but you just, you, you, you pulled up your bootstraps and got over them, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, um, for a while I was allergic to uh, like paper, couldn't touch oh, paper. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you know, you just, uh, the way to get over an allergy is just to expose yourself uh, as many times as possible. And then eventually you'll uh, come through the other side. Wait, what that's about That's good the... advice. Well, wait. Bernie, what about the shock? The shock is uh, not as bad if you, uh, you know, just clench your fists and uh, bear down. Oh, in, okay. my ex- in my experience, if you're having an allergic reaction, the best thing to do is just have some water and you'll, you'll be fine. Take it oh, out. Speaking of, I have yeah. water with me. Like, make sure to hydrate, guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, if, if there's any advice that's real and that we're actually giving is you should drink some water. I agree. Yeah, especially I if you have it readily available. Now. Yep, I just uh, have some good water. Oh yeah, Bernie. I'm sorry. Is that was that a sensitive subject for right now? You know, being in the woods. I don't know how much water you have access to at the moment. I mean, I've got a little bit left. I'll have to go foraging again soon. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you know, you can drink water straight out of the lake and be fine, right, Bernie? Uh, you can if you're man enough. <laughs> See, like, that's a good point. So wait, actually, is there like a lake or some sort of water resource nearby, or do you have to like just, like venture out of the woods, find a Seven Eleven, and then like go back into the woods? Like, what's your method? Uh, there uh, d- is... Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. You're telling him to go to a Seven Eleven. That's uncharted territory. I think it's a little safer to be in the well, woods, well, don't let, you think? Let Bernie answer the question. I think I, we shouldn't invalidate his methods. Okay, fine, fine. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, there um, there is a Seven uh, Eleven uh, pretty close to me, but their water has a little bit of a taste to it, so I, I enjoy Ooh. the river water better. 
that's fair. Uh, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't trust the Seven Eleven anyway. That's why. I, well, that's why they keep putting them in the woods. Because who else is gonna buy stuff I mean, at Seven Eleven yeah, other than I like mean, woodland creatures? I mean, Seven Eleven exactly, yeah. came from like Oklahoma, and I live in Oklahoma, and so I, I think I'm an expert on the subject. That 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 it's pretty bad. It's well, as far bad. as I'm aware, Oklahoma, they don't have any trees there, so you can't really have woods in Oklahoma. Like, it's all just flat land and, and like, yeah, must, just and, like, dirt, dust bowl. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I, I, listen, I, I, there are no trees I know my geography. You're right. I, I, I absolutely have no trees around where I live at all, you know? Because I met a guy from Oklahoma who was visiting New Jersey, and he just kept pointing at trees, like, oh! what's that and we had to be like guys that's a tree and then he was like what and uh oh my god it was so fun like getting to explain to him all about what trees are uh because over in new jersey we have this place called well, like trees, the pinelands well, yeah, that's just like, full of like, trees but like oh, trees man. are trees are like like you know those those little decorations right you know you're talking about like the, the like the, the the plastic i don't know what i'm talking about oh honestly. you're thinking about christmas trees no listen uh, Oklahoma has Christmas trees, but they have to get them shipped in from other states. We're talking about, like, grown from the ground, real wait, trees tree, with, like, living can, wait, cells and everything. Wait, wait, trees, okay. can, oh, wait okay. trees come from the ground? Yeah, Bernie, right? Back me up on this. I thought they were plastic. Uh, trees can come from the ground. Specific breeds. It's true, there oh. are some breeds of trees that are only made from, like, plastic factories, but there are, there are ground-grown trees, especially here in New Jersey. Yeah, can, can, can I actually, can I rant for a second about some yeah, trees? go for it. Yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, out here in New Jersey, the soil is very sandy, right? We, we're right on the coast. We've got, you know, we've got the Jersey Shore. It is, the, 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 the dirt is so sandy, and there's only, like, one type of tree that can grow out of the sand, and it's, a, it's called a scrub pine, right? It's a scrub pine, and it is the ugliest tree I have ever seen in my entire life, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere, and I hate them. Every time I turn around, there's another scrub pine. There's a scrub pine. There's another scrub pine. And it's all there is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, Bernie. It's okay. No, I, I, I can really... Yeah. Again, I live in New Jersey, too, as you know. I can't I wish relate, I could see, like, like, a nice, a nice uh, like, a dogwood or an aspen or some kind of other coniferous plant. But no, it's all these pines with the branches all the, at the top, and the bark is hard and bristly. Uh, it's, 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 oh, my God. Well, Bernie, I, I, I only have plastic Christmas trees, so, like, I, I don't see what you're complaining about, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that perspective, Rem, but you also don't live here. You don't understand the, these, these, uh, these trees are just everywhere. They're a nuisance. They're, they're taking over, like, all the freaking little small, like, businesses and stuff. It's, it's a problem. Yeah, it's they problem. pop up more than a McDonald's. That's yeah. fair. Though, I, I do gotta ask a question, though. Uh, sorry. Uh, just wondering... Bernie, I, 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 you know, as a fan of yours, you know, I enjoy your products a lot. Um, I want to ask, where did the idea of kites come from? Because, like, honestly, that was a pretty good product. You know, I, well, I this love is using a, my kites. This is a pretty recent product, if I'm aware, right? This is, like, within the past. This, that, you actually released this product, like, while you were in the woods still. So you yeah, gotta have some kind of connection of the, to make uh, that happen. Yeah, that was actually part of the, uh, the uh, Starlight Glimmer line. Ooh. We were running a, a promotional campaign for uh, Starlight that's a Glimmer. That's a My Little Pony character, right? Uh, it is, if I remember correctly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honest, that makes sense. You made them for uh, Starlight Glimmer fans, like people who are fans of Starlight Glimmer, right? Yep, yeah. They were specifically, you have to, once you have your uh, uh, Starlight Glimmer fan identification card, you can scan that and they'll give you a kite. I might, I might search that up on YouTube. I want to see what Starlight Glimmer fans are actually like. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that, ooh, that I like that idea. You know, Rem, it's 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 nice when you're just onto something. This this happens all the time where Rem just says something that makes you go, "Okay, Rem, you're onto something." I know, Am I, right? I know. I'm I'm such a genius, right, Bernie? Yes. Thank you. Um, speaking of being onto something, you were one. You, I think you were on the Titanic when it sank, but you were one of the few survivors. So, uh, what was that experience like? Uh, harrowing. And if uh, I could sum it up in a word, I'm pretty sure. Well, from what I remember, and again, I've read your memoirs, you actually mm -hmm. jumped off the ship before it sank because you were trying to, like, you were trying to tell them, like, guys, there's icebergs in this area, and they weren't listening. And you were like, well, I'm out of here. I find that that might be somewhat inaccurate. What's your take? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you're, you're summarizing a little bit, uh, but that's, that's essentially what happened. I knew exactly, like, where we were headed. And they were like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not, um, you know, I, I, I tried to tell them that we were moving 
right through the like herding areas mm-hmm. uh, where the icebergs come come to graze. Uh, but they didn't uh, they didn't listen. Oh, and so that's when you jumped the shark. Yeah, and I remember you describing in your memoir that uh, swimming back to shore for you was like the most painful feeling. Not like emotionally, you were just getting cramps like the whole way. Yeah, because yeah. I, I had eaten uh, less than an hour before swimming. So oh, I got, you don't want to do that. Yeah, so, don't uh, do after, that. so yeah, after that, honestly, you probably didn't want to take a journey once more like that, probably. No, 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 definitely not. No, never again. Damn. Although uh, I will say, uh, once you can get into like the uh, the stride of a backstroke, you can go for miles without uh, having to take a break. Yeah, I mean, Bernie, you taught, uh, I, pretty, I remember you t- also saying in your memoir that you taught Bobby how to swim. How was that? I, I mean, you've been kind of like a fatherly figure to that, to that, to that lovely Yeah, I man. remember taking him out to the lake with his little water wings. Uh, it was fun. You know, it's interesting. I remember at Harmony Con, uh, I, I got to, I didn't get to talk to Bobby. He seemed really like nervous and anxious. What did something happen during uh, my little millionaire? Cause he was backstage. Like just, he, he seemed destroyed about something. Like, was everything all right? Yeah. Um, I didn't know this until we were actually on the stage, but apparently, uh, Bobby thought we were supposed to be contestants when we weren't. Oh. We were just doing we were doing the ad roll in the middle. Yeah. Oh, okay. that, I mean, oh wait, that's right. You know, I'm re- starting to remember now. It was because he needed the money or something like that. Well, I, that's unfortunate. Yeah, 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 he he was he was really looking forward to that money. Um, we were just there to promote uh how to correctly uh convention hygiene and how to properly like uh clean yourself while you're at a convention, uh which I, I think the audience uh you know learned a lot. But uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bobby the whole time he thought we we were going up to be contestants. Uh, he was he was destroyed. So is do you know where he is now? Because obviously that was probably the first time he had seen you since you'd been in the woods. Like I imagine seeing you was just like a joy for him, right? Yeah. Oh my god. It was great uh getting to catch up a little bit. He was he was pretty upset when uh, when I had to go back to the woods. Mm-hmm. But um his I mean, mind he understood was, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once I told him it was a two-way trip, he was like, "Oh, oh, oh yeah. No, I get it." Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was. It was. Bob sad, is pretty but understanding. Understood. Yeah, he is. He can. He could be very reactive, but from what I can tell, he's a very understanding guy. He, he told me he's got a casserole waiting for me when I get back. So I'm really, I'm really looking casserole? forward to that. Ooh, yeah. I wonder what, what kind of casserole. Wait, what, yeah, I was about to say what kind. He didn't say. I think he wanted it to be a surprise. Ooh. I think if there's anything I love, it's a surprise casserole with just whatever ingredients might be in it. My um, thoughts exactly. Uh, I mean, so speaking you know, of uh, multiple ingredients, say, real fast before you continue on, I just want to say, I think somebody who would agree if a surprise casserole would be Pinkie Pie, and as we know, Pinkie Pie is the wisest of ponies. Oh, that's yeah. a My Little Pony reference, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got that. Speaking one. of a uh, My Little Pony references and multiple ingredients, uh, I think you were actually the one who convinced Lauren Faust to uh, make the show, right? Like, I remember you talking. Uh, there again, you wrote about this in your memoir. It's a great memoir. You should all read it. Uh, about how you were talking to Lauren Faust about this My Little Pony idea. Um, would you want to talk more about that? Yeah, I mean, she uh, she was looking for ideas uh, for a show, right? She wanted to uh, she wanted to make a you know take a new show and and, and have it a uh, start up on the Hub Network. That's where she was she was going. Yeah, we got together at the local uh, coffee clutch like we do every Sunday. Oh yeah, and uh, which <laughs> I haven't been to in ages because I've been in the woods. But but anyway, we 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 got we met up at the coffee clutch, and uh, you know we're sitting in the uh, in the comfy armchairs drinking our coffee, and I was like, hey, you know that uh, popular '80s and '90s cartoon show? And she was like, oh, which one? And I was she was like she was like she was like the Care Bears, and I was like, no 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 no, not that one, not that one. I was like the ponies, the horses. I think I think you would be a great fit for that. And then and then her face, it was like a light bulb went off. She was like, you're absolutely right. And I and I was like, yeah, th- th- yeah, there you go. And then she took that idea and she ran with it. And I was I was happy to I was you know I was very happy that well, uh, uh I, where it ended I, up. I gotta ask a question then though, like you know, what is your opinion on that one like spinoff that Barry Springtime made? And it was like Equestria Girls or something. That was a Barry Springtime original, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was. I uh, I honestly didn't keep up with it. I uh, I heard that it had come out, but it wasn't really uh wasn't really my thing. Because Bernie, I'm more of a like, horse guy. You you definitely seem to have that like impact on like so many like creative people because I know you gave Walt Disney the idea for Disneyland too, right? Yeah, yeah. He was originally gonna uh, uh, name it uh, uh, Bernie World, but but, but uh, like I, he didn't, I, right? Because obviously yeah, no, it's not I, that. I told him I was like I was you know, I was flattered, you know. I mean that's that's a huge honor, but I was like, don't do that. This is this is your project. I might have given you the the idea, 
but this is your baby. You got you name it after yourself, buddy. Name it after yourself. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, so if you don't, well, you must have like a lot of money, right? Like you, you, you must be like rolling in money, especially because of that nature documentary you made. I wish I uh, turned any profit off of that, but uh, so far it's been a little bit of a dud. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that's unfortunate. I mean, I thought nature documentaries were the most profitable business nowadays. That's what I was told. That's 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 what the numbers said. So wait, who who told you this? That's the question. I it was. I remember being in the movie theater. I was watching Angry Birds two, and someone behind me just kind of like whispered over my shoulder, "Hey, hey, you know, you know where the money is? It's in nature documentaries." Uh, like Angry really Birds re- too. Yeah, yeah. That's a reliable source, honestly. I, you know, if someone who still goes to the movie theaters, I would always listen to. Yeah, I have no idea who that lovely gentleman was behind me who gave me that idea. I never got to see his face, but uh, I figured, you know, this must be a great idea. And then I started, then, then and I was like, you know, maybe I should, I should do that. And then, you know, when the uh, the bank took the CUM, I was uh, kind of forced my hand a little bit. But I was like, hey, this is a great idea. Let me do this. And mm. then... Look at me now. That's so do I have egg on my face. Um. So I know Barry Springtime is a sensitive subject, and I said we wouldn't bring it up again. But this made me think because you said this was during Angry Birds too, correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, on record, Barry Springtime has said that Angry Birds Two is his favorite film. I don't know if there's a connection there, but it's something to be noted. Fascinating. You don't think. No. I don't know. No. I mean, it, no, it couldn't be. I'm just, right? I'm just. It's, it could be a coincidence, you know. You're I'm not, not saying. I don't, I don't consider myself a conspiracy theorist, but it's no, something listen, to think listen, about. Listen, listen, listen. I know that it's his favorite movie. I mean, I don't even think Barry Springtime would just be just so happening going to the same movie as Bernie April's, sitting right behind him and whispering that to him. That, that's a little far, don't you think? Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Barry they, uh, Springtime's uh, pe- a pretty conniving people, guy. Like, people would probably point it out too. I mean, the two of them look just alike, don't they? No, 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 me no, no, and no, no, Barry? no. Are you kidding? You might be thinking. You might be thinking of Winber. Winber and Bernie look alike. Barry looks nothing like Bernie April's. I no, got I'm you, pretty, back, man. I'm pretty sure Winber looks like Barry Springtime too. No, no, no you bite no. your tongue, sir. No, 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 Rem. I'm gonna have to kick you off the podcast if you say that again. We do not what? disrespect no. our guests what? like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second, but like. You know, I'm just saying they 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 Dude. kind of have the same beard. Okay, just be you think just because two people have beards they look alike. Next, you're gonna say Winber looks like that that Ambazar guy. I mean, like, well, first of all, we would never have him on the podcast. He's a little wacky, but like. Either way, Winber looks nothing like that guy. Okay, no, honestly, dude, all beards look the same to me. Whoa, whoa, Rem, Rem, listen, we're okay. We're gonna keep this off air. We're gonna talk about this later. Um. Guys, you might not see Rem on the next episode. Uh, Wait, I'm just going to leave it at that. I anyway, made this moving with on. You. We're moving on. We're okay. moving on. Uh, I, we're not going to divulge on controversies, no, as we no, all know. Wait, what? No. I did not create this podcast to Yikes. have us a assert you create this podcast. Our, I did not create the Out of Our Mains you, podcast you for us to I, assert we, we our opinions. I made it for me we to assert my opinion. You know, we're moving on. We all three made it together. I can say words, too. We're moving on. Bernie, speaking of uh, intense opinions, um, I know you okay. said the My Little right. Pony movie is like the greatest movie of all time, but I think some people would disagree. Uh, I think because you're talking about the G1 movie. What, what, mm-hmm. and that's again, that brought up the whole Lauren Faust situation because you love the G1 movie so much. Mm-hmm. My question to that is, what are your thoughts on the 2017 and the 2021 G5 movie uh, since you love the G1 movie as much as you do? Oh, it was cute. A cute little, a cute little picture. You t- which one are you talking about? Both of them, or just one of them? Oh, the 2017. Okay. Yeah. And then for the G5 movie, that was fine. I love you the know G5 what? movie. You know, I think it was a pretty good movie. Rem, I think we've established that your opinions are on on thin ice right now. Um, <laughs> listen, maybe in ten minutes or so we'll forget about this and we'll move on, and it'll be like it never happened. But you got to wait ten minutes. It's like a cool down effect in a video game. You like yeah, video games. Fair. That's fair, um, you know. It might be like all the opinions we say on here don't actually mean anything. No, 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 no. Everything that I've said this episode is 100% fact. Speaking of which, Bernie, um, you were at the ribbon cutting of, I believe, the first ever Olympics. Now, 
That's pretty cool. What was that like? I thought it was the second. No, no, no. He's been at all the Olympics, but he was at the first one. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the first one was the only one they let me uh, cut the ribbon uh, mm-hmm. because of uh, uh, I went to uh, to uh, cut the ribbon, and uh, you know what I, you know what I accidentally did. What'd you do? I accidentally cut the belt of someone's pants. Oh, Bernie! Yeah, another oh, one that, of those classics. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> did I their mean, pants right fall down? But... Did their pants fall down around their ankles? Yeah, it did. Oh, and then did somebody in the audience go wah wah? <laughs> yup, yup, yup. <laughs> oh, and then there was a so laugh wait, track. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that was that Usain? Oh, Usain Bolt that you did that too? No, I forget. I forget who it was. Uh, I don't think he won anything, so nobody ever remembered his name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't just look this up right now. I I knew this off the top of my head. So the first Olympics was in seven seventy six B C. So yeah. that oh, means. Oh wait, Usain Bolt wasn't around at the time. He was around for like the like one th- like the year of one thousand Olympics. Well, that's what happened in the year zero, right? Our oh. Lord and Savior, Usain Bolt, was born and oh. invented more Olympics. Oh, I see. You're right. You're right. So you were there for the birth of Bolt. Yep. Oh, man. That's so cool. How does it, how does it feel to have met the son of, um, of, of the Bolt gods? You know, it was an honor. Sorry, I get a little giddy thinking about it. It's just like my favorite part of yeah. history. That's fair. It's, That's uh, fair. It, you know, it was, um, it was interesting. Because, uh, you know, I got to meet him, uh, yeah, despite that little uh, embarrassing uh, debacle. Uh, he did go on to make his uh, his uh, feature animated film uh, by the same name. Oh, you're right. Wait, he the... made Bull. I it's... forgot about that. The one with the mm-hmm. It's insane mm-hmm. the the dog. that it took him. It's insane that it took Usain Bolt, the Usain Bolt, 2008 years to make that movie. But hey, it happened eventually, right? And we got to see it. Yeah, and that luckily was one of the in best our movies. lifetimes. That was you one know, of the best was... movies of all time. A good story takes time. It, you know what? I never like to talk about this, but I'm working on a little project called The Journey Once More. I never talk about it, you know, and I, I, but it does take time, and I can agree. By the way, that's The Journey Once More. Um, you should all oh, go watch yeah. it. Uh, did memoria, I mention that yes. it's The Journey Once More? Yeah, I'm memoria about that. You memoria about it? Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, um, yeah me B- Bernie. Bernie, you've talked about PMVs uh, in some of your projects, and I remember you mentioning. Uh, I remember you mentioning that like PMVs are friends of yours. Is this is this true? Yeah, yeah, they are best friends. I would say interesting. Best Which one is friends? Pro- so, do you pick and choose, or are you more like a open arms kind of guy with the PMVs? Open arms, man. I bear hug every PMV that comes my way. Oh man, do you have okay? But you have to have a favorite, right? Like, come on, everybody has a favorite. Every mother has their favorite child. Come on, it's the truth. No, I don't. I don't believe in that. Oh. I couldn't possibly choose between my children. So you you view the PMVs as more than friends? Then they're your they're like your offspring. Yeah. yeah. So if that's the case, then man, you've had a lot of offspring. Oh shoot! Sorry, I just uh, I kicked my I kicked my water bottle for a second there. Rem, Remember to hydrate. Remember to hydrate. Right. First, man, just say controversial opinions. Now you're being unprofessional by kicking stuff around your room. You are, uh, you this know, ice is growing so thin. This ice is growing thin. I mean, well, you know what? I, I'll just make my own channel, the purple one. You know what? Uh, I'll support you in whatever you do, man. You're still my friend. I just, I need to keep the image of this podcast because that's the thing that matters the most to me. Anyway, uh, Bernie, back huh? to what we're talking about. PMV huh? stands for Pony Music Video. I know you were there for the invention of music and you had a part in this, I believe. Uh, what is your take on that crazy event because music that's so big nowadays are you getting like uh you have to be getting some kind of like uh what's the word uh like like paychecks or like money for that right yeah i i, I do get i do get um a little residual from uh the residual that's the word from, i was thinking music, of thinking. yeah um yeah you know um i <laughs> you know i don't like to uh take a lot of credit for inventions but you know music was kind of my thing <laughs> oh you made music. I did. Wow. Uh, and I'll and I'll and I'll, and I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly how it happened. I'll tell you exactly how it happened. Uh, you guys, you guys have taken showers. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, right? I mean, yeah, I, I, I personally prefer baths, but you know, I've taken showers. That's fine. You yeah, know, you know, I um, try at least once a month. You know. Yeah. You guys know that it can be one of the most boring times of the day. Oh right? my god! Yeah, right? nothing happens. It's just like a void. Yep. Yeah. So I was like, what can what what can we do? What can we do to make this a little more interesting? You know, you know, you're you're scrubbing down, but it's it's 
you, you need a little you need you need to also stimulate your brain you know and i was like what if you what if what if you could make music you've got while you're doing this Do, you know you've got a point you know right can i, can I just talk I about thought. can i talk about my first shower song yeah yeah so rem my, this is your this is your time to redeem yourself this better be good all right so my first shower song um it, it's i'm a little emotional it's uh New World by Sky Does Minecraft, you know? That's a great one. That was my first shower song. I I put it on, I took a shower to it on my iPod, and it was a magical experience. Can you give us a little, can you give us a little example of that song, Rem? Um, Just just hum a few bars, if you will. Uh, Yeah, give give us a tune. Uh... Uh, first I open my eyes, and... That was wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rem? I just want to say... I'm sorry for arguing with you earlier. That I'm sorry that was for beautiful. With you too, cool. And I love you, man. You're you're like one of my best friends in the world, and I need to learn to treat you better. I'm sorry, hey. man. Yeah, thank you, Cole. I'm <laughs> sorry. Instead, I was gonna run off and make the purple one, Cole. I'm so, not gonna do what? that. You know, I wait. I I I, I wasn't <laughs> lying when I said I support you in whatever you do, man. And I, I will be there. That. I know you will be. <laughs> This is the power of Bernie Aprils. It brings us together. Your friendship is so beautiful. You can even say that it's magic or something. Friendship is magic. <laughs> uh, Bernie, I, I want to thank Bernie you. Bernie was the friends we all made along the way. Bernie Aprils, right here and now, I think, just saved our friendship. And uh, if that... Bernie, I owe you a, a great one for that. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. You guys mean so much to me. Well, you mean a lot to you me, mean too, a lot Bernie. too, You're literally, I have a shrine to you, Bernie. You mean so much. Uh, speaking of meaning so much, uh, <clears throat> you, uh, I- I'm pretty sure you were there when, uh, oh, what, what was it again? It, it, I know they were making the, um, the arch, like, in St. Louis. Like, you know, it was that big. They were going to make it, like, really tiny, right? But then you were like, guys, guys, this is St. Louis we're talking about. Yeah, I mean... Make it bigger. You know, that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the rule in St. Louis, you know? Go big or go home, you know? You got to make it huge. You got to make it big. So, again, the, the photos exist. People can look this up. I remember when it was being dedicated, the St. Louis Arch, you climbed to the top and you did, like, a little dance at the top of the arch to, like, show that... I did, like, I, did it a little, I did a little jig. Yeah, and that's why, again... People will understand when we finish this story, that is how the St. Louis jig was invented. Like, a really famous dance. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, move, you move your legs a little bit, you, you move your hands. Yeah. Um, and I know this is a podcast that people can't see, but uh, so the St. Louis jig, uh, you know, like you said, you move your legs a little bit, you move your hands. Now, there was a little controversy about this, though. And I know, again, we're getting right back into the controversy, and I didn't want to uh, cool, cool. bring this up. Cole, I, I, I gotta be really honest, you know, we, we're talking about how we're, you know, friends and all that. I gotta let you know, you are a bit of a drama queen. Like I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> but like, your Twitter is, is filled with it, Cole. I know, but th- this one, this one's important, because okay. I, it, it personally impacted me a little bit, so I just want to air, I want to, I know, we're talking about our friends, we are, I want to air the room, you know, I just want to, like, clear, want to just get the elephant out of the room, you know? Alright, yeah, um, fair, fair enough, I guess, just, just I. Like, we, we gotta During, make sure you, you gotta calm this problem down a little. Like, listen, you know, I'm being time, calm and collected. Last time, Cole. Know, last time. I'm being calm and collected. All right. This is not. A, I'm not yelling. I'm just. I'm just here to give my peace. Okay. So during one of my many yoga sessions, right, uh, I was performing the St. Louis jig, which, as you already know, can function as a yoga uh, function, um, and I broke my entire ass. And what? that was a problem. Like, yeah, because the butt's not even involved. Ouch. But because of the way that the tendons twist in the St. Louis jig, my, my butt just cracked completely. And it took me at least 30 years to recover from that. So I just want to make everyone aware that while the St. Louis jig is a lot of fun, just be careful because the yeah, tendons I mean, be you've twisting. Gotta, Fair enough. You've got to know how to do it that. right. You've got to practice really hard. Make sure you're nice and limber. It, it might be because I wasn't at the proper elevation. Because you invented this at the top of the St. Louis Arch, right? It's, it's meant you... to be done at a high altitude, yeah. Because the high altitude balances out the the muscles, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we're getting a little scientific here, and I know I know our viewers aren't like Bill Nye the Science Guy or anything. We gotta we we got we gotta move on. Um, actually, wait a minute. Hey, hold, I, you know, I'm what 
I could do if you want is I could uh you know what I, here hold on I'm just gonna I'm just gonna perform a little bit of the jig. Oh wait, uh, right, right now? now? Right now? Right now? Uh, yeah. Right now? Oh, oh, oh yeah. All right, everyone. Um, you won't be He's able to, to see this, it. but you'll imagine it, and it'll be great. So, Bernie, give us some of your St. Louis jig. Wow! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! Well, that is impressive. All right, yeah, I couldn't see it, but I, oh, I, man. I could see That's... it in my mind. No, listen, Cole, trust people, me, the it people, was uh, The people watching are going to love this. Oh, yes. yeah. I think, uh, oh, wait. What that sound means all right hang on guys it's time to of course talk about our uh our ad read hang on i gotta look this up because you know as we all know every episode guys we gotta pay the bills we gotta talk about ads um man these, these people in the emails they never send me it in a, did they send it to the wrong email again hang on hang on guys hang on hang on wait 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 um, wasn't the ad sorry. by wait, didn't didn't bernie want to insert an ad in here didn't he oh no no this isn't that? a bernie ad sorry sorry Ber i mean bernie if he wants to pay us no no sorry uh, no, oh to... shoot i thought it was uh, no, I need to find this. Hang on, hang on. Um, hang on. Uh, no, that's my mother. Talking so while to me. he's looking for that, Bernie, I gotta ask you another question. Go wait, right no, ahead. no, sorry, no, you can't do that. We have to wait because the sound, the sound played, and if I do this, then the companies will sue me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm finding fine. it. I'm finding right. it. All right. All right. Uh, found it. Found it. Found it. it. Was in the wrong email. They need to. These people need to. Uh, these people need to get their shit together. Hang on. Uh, Whoa. I'm sorry. Uh, whatever. Um, it's all right. I'll forgive you. Whoever runs this freaking... Listen, if I forget to cut this, uh, we're going to get in trouble. But uh, <laughs> whoever whoever runs this freaking... Uh, this company is a terrible person and they need to get their shit together. Anyway, Studio Cinemagic, making the greatest PMVs you've ever seen. PMVs for the big screen, one might say. Studio Cinemagic, go watch them. Thank you. All right, that's the end. Whoever, I swear, whoever runs Studio that fucking channel, they Cinemagic? need to get their shit together. Yeah. Bro, they don't even know how to make thumbnails. Have you they seen them? They don't know how to make thumbnails. They don't even know how to make anything. Like, <laughs> like appeasing the algorithm seems to be like yeah. the last thing they think about. Like, imagine having like hour long like videos or something. I, I bet they'll do that. You know, I bet they're going to make like an hour. They had a 25 minute video. Next thing will be an hour long yeah. video. Editor, Who editor, that? editor, make sure you cut all this conversation because dude, the person who runs this will come after us if if we keep this in. So yeah, yeah, make, sure you cut it, make sure you cut it. If Probably. you're hearing this right now, oh, don't worry. You're, you're not. You won't be hearing this right now you because won't. we'll be getting sued. Uh, Bernie, what do you think about Studio Cinemagic? I know you're a fan. Uh, they're okay to me, but what, what, what do you say? Well, I mean, they make PMVs, so obviously I'm going to flock to it. All right. Okay, but they seem a little... I'm just... I've got to say something about this. Like, I just want to clear the air about Studio Cinematic. My personal opinion, they say stuff like they make uh, PMVs for the big screen. It's in their about section. I was like, that seems a little egotistical, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, it seems like a manipulative way to coerce people from not watching it on their phones, which is, like, kind of obvious. I don't know why somebody would do that. Like, we get it. Like, you should just be grateful. If someone wants to watch your video and it's on a small screen, uh, be grateful, nerd. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, I mean, enough of that. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite way to watch a Studio Cinemagic PMV is uh, vertically on my phone. Oh, you know what? I think I think that's a good way to stick it to, to this creator, whoever they are. I personally like to watch my Studio Cinemagic PMV is on my uh, refrigerator, but you know. Oh, you have one of those fancy refrigerators that can play uh, things, or are you more like just watching like the reflection of the video on the refrigerator? Because that'd be kind of funny. I, I, I like to angle my phone. You know, like in the right way, I turn it max brightness and I, I, I like to aim it towards the other. Like I have a stainless steel refrigerator so you can kind of see the colors. It's a pretty good viewing. All right. That's I think that again, anything to anything to put a damper on this creator side, because they no, 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 no. That's just they how I have watch been a thorn in my wait, bush. Wait, wait, wait. That's how I watch everything. So you watch everything. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess they it does. If I can say anything about a Studio Cinemagic video, I guess it's involved in the existence of everything. Other than that, I got nothing to say. Um, maybe I'll see the light someday. Who knows? Uh, I just... Man, the videos are just so long. Mm -hmm. They're just so long, man. Can you just make something shorter? Yeah, like, nobody's, I mean, nobody's gonna watch that. Imagine like making something really sleep. long. Like, 
Imagine like yeah. it's kind of like imagine like rambling about nothing for an hour or something. That'd be ridiculous. No, no. There is no content on YouTube that is over three minutes long, and that's how it should stay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Anyway, we got to get back to the actual podcast because, like I said, this is all just gonna get cut. Uh, I'll have to make sure I tell the editor that whoever the editor is, it's uh. I think it's supposed to be Winber this time. Is it Winber? Oh, well, I wish he was here then. He oh, whatever. It's fine. You know, he'll get to see the episode at some point, at least. Yeah, I guess yeah, he'll, he'll get to experience it. it but oh, man, yeah. I just wish he was here. He's a big fan of yours, Bernie. Like, mm-hmm. I wanted he, to meet uh, him too. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen at Harmony Con, but it's it, just it weird. Uh, I've never seen in the you cards. two in the same room, like ever. It's really strange. No. Yeah, it's just one of those weird cosmic coincidences. I know you were born in the same hospital. I've looked over the papers, and it's been oh, confirmed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't keep that secret. At one but, point, like, I saw Winber with your badge at harmony con how did that happen oh i picked up his by accident when we were like uh in the bathroom oh so wait you were both in the bathroom but you must have like just missed each other then like in the stalls or something yeah exactly it was like uh two shifts passing in the night so oh, man so how how you know i'm not gonna ask that question i might 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 be a little too much you know i'm not gonna ask about the bathroom etiquette of winber no, no, actually, i don't think okay, he'd want no, you to say it, yeah bernie no i'm gonna ask listen winber's a friend of mine but i gotta know <laughs> what's winber like in the bathroom i need to know Giggly. Giggly, huh? He giggles a lot, yeah. Can you give us an example? Like, paint a picture in our brains for us. Like, can you reenact this for us? Like, what is Winber like in the bathroom? Okay. I'm standing at the the sink, right? I'm washing Uh my hands. I'm washing those digits. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, behind me, I'm just just hearing... (laughs) Can can you believe that? Like, is that not weird? (laughs) That's can you a do little, that? that that's loud. Wait, can you do can you do that one more time? That was maybe a little too a uh, little too quiet. Uh, I think what, our audience needs to no, hear that again. No, I don't with the. I... <laughs> it's funny. It's weird. It reminds me of my grandma. Oh, oh you're right. You mean, oh, you're Bernie. right. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember your grandma. She's one that's like <laughs> that lady, right? How yeah, how sweet. is uh, how is Bertie April's old old? Yeah, I, I can imagine. Um. I, I, I mean, she had some nice things to say about you in a recent video. She's wise beyond her years, but That's yeah. That's fair. She's like 30, isn't she? Yeah. Like, she's up oh, there. Oh, yeah. You gotta. So, but the, the crazy thing is because, you know, you've been alive for so long, um, that, that was just supposed to mean your grandma must be I like guess. triple that at least, right? Like Something like that. We're talking born in like, you know, beginning of the universe type of stuff, right? Like, she was there for that. I, the don't, Big think Bang? The, I don't think you could put a... Uh... Uh, a number on it, yeah. Oh, so so I'm maybe not thirty, more like more like thirty five. Yeah, I mean, yeah. legends say that Birdie Aprils caused the Big Bang, right? Like I we can thank her for I've everything. We can thank her for everything. Like she's be everything exists thanks to your she's grandma. She's my everything, and, and, and you know fair. what? That's as fair. she should be. But wait, you say she's your everything, but as far as I know, you do have a wife, right? Like you're married. Yeah. Oh yeah. Birdie Aprils, uh, love of my life. Too? Bernafred, right? Yeah, Bernafred Aprils. Yeah, oh. she's a lovely lady. I gotta ask, actually, you know, did she approve of the Panice? Like, did she like the idea? Oh, yeah, she's supportive in everything. Okay, that's good, that's good. I, I know it, we, Rem, we were, talk- we were talking about that a little too much. I was just wondering what her opinion was on, you know, uh, Bernie's C-U-M and his Panice, you know? Yeah, yeah it's every, good to have a supportive family I have. Every idea I have goes through her. Oh, that's well, good. It, that's good. It's funny, Rem, that you mention uh, the the, the uh, you know Bernafred's connection to Bernie's Panice, but I because I, I if I ever again I've read the memoirs, dude, you got to read this memoir. Um, you met Bernafred through Bobby, right? Yeah, yeah. He introduced us. Man, what a guy! And well, again, this is it's because Bernafred is like Bobby's like like distant cousin or something like that right i haven't heard that no she never mentioned it interesting no i i but, but no you mentioned this in the memoir bernie that you wrote i don't think wait, i did wait wait a second are you talking about the memoir that that was so you're talking about bernie april's memoir like the official book right yeah yes. um you you know that wasn't written by bernie right it wasn't no that was written by barry no no, like Wait, if you did he look at the book, too? go grab the book. Like grab the book right now. Wait, it's Bernie. It's the Bernie April's memoir written by oh, Barry on, Springtime. I got it somewhere around here. Here it is. It, it, it's in fi- it's in fine print. It's very small. That's a box of cereal. I don't know where the book is. Um, uh, let me go. Let, I mean, me, go, let me go grab I'm my positive, copy. I'm positive. I'm positive he would he would have written one too, just to try to like defame me. 
Let me grab my copy. Um, so, all right, let's see. Yeah, uh, right here. Yep. Uh, it's really small. It's at the very end of the book, but it says right here, written by Barry Springtime. It's like one of those Disney movie knockoffs. He's putting mm. them on shelves so that people buy it instead of mine. So wait a second. But everything else I've said up to this point has been accurate, though. You think Barry Springtime follows Bernie? He knows a lot about me. Huh. Wait, 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 we didn't say we were going to talk about Barry later in the podcast, uh, you know, after yeah, you have yeah. time to collect yourself. Does that mean now's the time? Because this is confusing, because, because everything I've said up until the whole Bobby Bernafird cousin connection, that, because that, that, they're not cousins, all right, that I understand now, but everything else has been accurate, right? Yeah. And if I've read the wrong book, then... Is, is that what Barry would do? He would write the same book with only like mild inaccuracies, so people wouldn't mild notice. Is that? Oh, that, is yeah, that makes sense. That would, would make sense because then he's tricking people. Like, by it's like, all right, this there's this one thing about Bernie, and then it's like that's not Wait right, and then it ruins his reputation slowly. Wait, okay, I found my copy of the book. Hang on. Wait, guys, I have two books. I only ever bought one. I, wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. Okay, so one of these is the normal book. Like, I can see it was written by Bernie Aprils, and there's no other wacky fine print. And, yeah, this other one has a little tiny thing that says Barry Spr Did Did Barry Springtime sneak into my house and put the book in here? What? That sounds no, like something he would do. No, He's no, like a reverse no, Grinch. No, no, I don't think Barry would do that. That sounds more like a Rain Bodash thing to do. I mean, it could have been Rain Bodash, because I think they might be working together, but... I mean, you were, like, born in the same hospital as Rain Bodash, right? Me? Yeah. No! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I could have swore! It's, no, no, I... okay. No, 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 We were born in the same hospital system. Like, again, it's like a different, it's an insurance thing. It has nothing to do with the building. Uh, oh. Sorry, you were close. I, I got a little angry there. I apologize. It's just, do not compare me to that menace of Rainbow Dash, all right? I'm, I'm sorry. I, won't, I, I don't even know who he is. Yeah, I, I, really. I, thought, I thought you sounded kind of similar, too. That, that's where the mix-up came from. No, 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 no. Uh, well, mm, Again, I think that might be an impact of being in the same hospital system, but the uh, looks, the looks is the hospital thing. Um, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, Rain Bodash is, like, kind of like, you know, like... That Rain would actually make sense, because Rain Bodash has snuck into my house on multiple occasions. In fact, when he was recording his episode of Out of Our Mains, you know, we were both there for that, right? Um, yeah. He snuck into my house to record that. Oh. That's... Maybe, that, did he put the book... What a menacing thing to do. He he might have put Barry's version of the book th then. Oh man, hoping okay. that you would read that instead of the real one. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna man, have to look back ridiculous. at my security footage. I'm gonna have to look back through my security footage, guys. This this might be an ongoing uh, investigation. I mean, wait. I'm gonna have to get my hands on that book and 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 see exactly what he said. Yeah. Um. That explains a lot, actually. Now I'm thinking about it because I don't even remember buying a Bernie April's book. I just had it. No, no, there is a real Bernie, because I have the real one here, and I'm looking through pages. I know, I know, and but these... I'm saying, like, I don't remember buying his book. I, and, I just and again, had one. And again, I'm going to just display for you the, um, the, the menial, like, changes that Barry has made, I guess for copyright or just trying to mess. So, in, ba in Bernie's real book, it says, um, I was there for the sinking of, t of the Titanic. Oh, what a wacky event that was. That's Bernie's writing. Here's Barry's writing. Oh, I was present for the sinking of that Titanic. Wacky event it was, yes. Like, how could you oh tell the difference goodness. between? It's so similar. It's so similar, but he doesn't quite understand it. He doesn't yeah. quite get it. I mean, yeah, because like Barry's eagle, like eagle-eyed right? people will notice the difference, but that's it. Yeah, so, that's right, that's right. Uh, Bernie, I think you and I, once you get out of the woods, we might have to meet up and maybe we'll have to like go over these two books and see what see what the hell's happening because this is this is I, I guess we're gonna have to yeah yeah uh maybe we'll get bobby involved too i mean i'm pretty sure bobby he would want to know about involved. this he, he knows he knows the book front and back wait, Ooh, every word. About, wait 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 wait. i'm thinking about this though cole yeah have you even met bobby like i don't think i've seen you two in the same room well i've witnessed him again remember i was backstage at a at a uh, at harmony con and i saw him right. we've never formally spoken but i have seen him and i think he probably saw me out of the corner of his eye Fair um, enough, fair enough. However, uh, are you aware of the lawyer? Because Bobby hired a lawyer uh, when you were gone. I don't know if you knew about this. Did he talk about Ronnie Donovan? I asked him to hire a lawyer, and I, I left that entirely up to him. I, I trusted him with that process. I mean, Ronnie Donovan seemed like a pretty cool guy. Is that who he got? Yeah, he's a very fatherly figure. Um, oh, good. 
and uh, so Ronnie Donovan, I, 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 okay. Full disclosure, I don't know if I get in trouble for saying this, but Ronnie Donovan is my lawyer too. Um, I will c- talk to Ronnie about the, the these two books and see if something can be done. And maybe, maybe this That'd will be, be the ticket to get you out of the woods. I, I don't know. I mean, he's got to be just a great a lawyer if Bobby hired him. Yeah. Is that your ultimate goal, though, or do you want to stay in the woods? Because we actually never, we never really established whether you found a home there or you want to leave. Oh, no. Boy, I would love to leave. Okay. I wish I could. Okay. Um, so you haven't like you haven't been like punching trees and building houses like out of like wood or anything like that. No, I mean I've definitely made a little a uh, little community here with the rocks and sticks. But yeah. you know I'd love to come back. Did you know uh, if you uh, here's a little hack for you if you make a four by four square in the dirt and then just fill two buckets of water and put them in you get unlimited water forever. Just letting oh, you know yeah. that because that's that's crazy. Yeah. That's that's really good. I'm, that's I'm, really I'm, smart. I, I, another tip I could give you by the way just mm-hmm. you know. If at any point you feel like going to the end, you you gotta take down uh, you gotta take out the Endermen, you know. Oh yeah, don't you, keep that you, in mind. you gotta get those Endermen out of there because oh me oh my, uh, they they are a menace, probably more so yeah. than Rainbow Dash. Yeah, they do like to take your stuff, which uh, keep that in mind, Bernie. They do like to take things from you. Yeah, they they're the just... only uh, they're the only woodland creatures that can pick up um blocks in the same way you can. Yeah, interesting. They must be the ones stealing all my uh, biscuits. Oh yeah, I mean we all know Bernie loves his biscuits, and if anybody are taking them, they uh, you just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Yeah, uh, you know I I was I was really upset the one day I was trying to uh, you know spruce up my uh, my little shelter that I've been building out here, and uh, I put uh, I put the water and the lava in the wrong spot, and I ended up with uh. a block of obsidian. I was trying to get stone, but all I had was obsidian, and it's just and like I can't I can't do anything with that because you don't well, have any what? diamonds yet, right? Exactly, I well, haven't wait, found wait, any. Wait, 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 wait. You know. There is a a little secret to obsidian, though, if you do manage to get it. Now, if you, if you place all those blocks together in kind of like a bit of a circle shape. Now, I know that sounds wild, but if you Ooh. do it, it could lead to something interesting. I've only heard things, you know. I, I don't live in the I've woods. I've heard about this, too. I, I've never been in the woods in my entire life. I don't live, like, right next door to them right now or anything like that. So I think it's like, I wouldn't nice know for a about visit. them. Yeah, I think, but you might need a flint. It's like a flint and steel or something to, to like, you have to like ignite this circle of, of, of a obsidian. Mm-hmm. And there should be like a, again, this is only a rumor. Nobody's confirmed this. It's never been caught on video. But uh, I think there's like a purple like haze that'll like, like you'll see like sheened like in between like the circle or something. And if you go through that, I don't know. I don't know where it goes. Maybe it's Equestria. Curious I have no idea. Curious. You'll wait a portal to Equestria? Maybe. Oh, wait, Birdie. Yeah. To get back to the, you know, this is a My Little Pony podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, we, we've of been course. talking about it like a decent, but it's fine. We've talked about it for like half the episode, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, Pony is always uh, at the soul of our, of our conversation. But mm-hmm. uh, you went to Equestria recently, and I think you, uh, you talked to your f- friend. I go there frequently, the, the, yeah. The Sofa and Quills guy, uh, Davenport, I think it was Davenport. his name. Davenport. Oh, what a great guy. Wait, so you, you met like a pony, right? Like, I remember there was like... You told you written you wrote down about a pony, but it was kind of weird. I just it's kind of hard to entry to remember. Yeah, how was your experience with uh with Davenport? Was it, Davin- was it like Davenport is a, a lovely stallion. He's a really stand up guy. I love his wonderful sultry voice. Um, we spend a lot of time uh, walking back when he gets off work. Uh, I walk him back to his house. We have little introspective conversations about life. I try to give him advice, and he tries to give me some back. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just a little in shock because, like, I've met Davenport too, and whenever I see him, he runs away screaming like, "Ah, ah what is that?" Um, but you seems like when you when you meet him, you're like friends. Oh yeah, I'm friend of all creatures, Interesting. big and small, horse and whatnot. Huh. I'll have to try that tactic next time. I mean, I thought I was being friendly, you know, I was just kind of standing there, but oh, standing? No, you gotta you gotta know how to walk. Oh, there's casual, a technique. Like- yeah. Ooh, wait, is the technique similar to the to the St. Louis Jager? Is this like something else? It it's it's similar in application. Can you show? But it's us? a totally different. Uh, can you like, show us right now? Yeah, in this visual medium. Yeah, can you show me, us? Yeah, let me let me let me show you. Hold on. Uh-huh. Huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There uh-huh. we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, everybody, Ooh. take notes. That's awesome. All right. All right. Holy How's shit! That? that was amazing. Like honestly, I think. I think I understand now. Cole could eat. Cole, you you probably could talk to Davenport now, right? I hope so because I really wanted to buy a sofa. Like, 
he just seemed to have the best prices, so that's why I went. He's trying that's, to sell more of those. That's why I went to Equestria because I was like, all these sofa places here in New Jersey are like overpriced and everybody. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go to Equestria. They seem to have good, good economics there. Uh, so I went, and everybody just started running around like you know screaming like, oh, what is that crazy creature over there? And yeah, yeah. you never, you never want to buy any furniture in uh, New Jersey. They're all money laundering schemes. They're all money laundering schemes. Yeah, every single mm-hmm. one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, hey, hey. What about the furniture in Oklahoma? I mean, I'm just saying. We got plastic trees. Well, that's the Good. difference. Because we have so many trees here in New Jersey, they think that they could just overcharge because we have all the trees. Uh, um, because you're getting imports, they have to, like, sell them to you, so they actually have to give you reasonable prices. That's Dude, fair. That's fair. we're not going to get into the economical situation of the United States. We are a My Little Pony podcast, okay? That's true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I just get distracted occasionally. You know, I, it's not like we talk about other things that often i just no, we've been I, I talking about pony the entire time yeah. yeah so speaking of i've got to ask you um about the creation of like you know my little pony uh you you did make g0 right i i led a bit of the groundwork uh that would become uh, uh what we know today as my little pony mm-hmm. but i wouldn't say it was really so much of a uh of a cartoon or a show about horses as much as it was just a uh, you know taming wild horses oh, oh. oh. what well, and that's why hell hath no fury like a chestnut mare right exactly mm-hmm. okay that makes sense full because, circle because i think well originally it wasn't called my little pony it was just called the chestnut mares right and then you were like i should probably mm-hmm. extend mm-hmm. to all varieties of horses and exactly. that's where we are today and then we might even want to get into the more exotic ones like uh, the ones who have wings or horns oh yeah 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 i mean honestly my favorite real my favorite horses are pegasi you know i i ride my pegasi uh, uh good out to the sky every day mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. they're expensive though i'm surprised you have one you have to take them on flights every day or else yeah. they get antsy yeah, yeah. well here, here here's the thing i I might have, uh, yeah, we would cut this out cold, but I might have stolen one. Oh, really? From where? Whoa. Uh, well, you see, I bought my Pegasi from, um, so Oklahoma obviously doesn't have any Pegasi stores. It's a very earth pony, uh, 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 state. I had to go all the way up to, uh, Canada, actually. Um, huh. and in Canada, there is this one shop. It's very well known for Pegasi. You might have heard of it. And I managed to uh, go in and uh, steal it and rode it off into the sunset, you know? Really? Yeah. What the a problem... heartwarming story. Yep. So wait, you're saying Canada is some kind of like Pegasi breeding ground? Because I didn't know that. That's, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, they have a lot of yeah, Pegasi I mean, that's, there. That's, one of, that's like one of their main exports. You've got Pegasi and moose. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense because the moose, they have the big antlers, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, the, the horses having the big wings, yeah, that, mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense, actually. Exactly. Um, I mean, like, I, I'm pretty sure Canada might have actually been the create the, the place where the creation of uh, horses actually started. At least the 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 G four of horses, you know. Huh. Yeah. I mean, that would make a lot of sense considering you know the Pegasi and well the unicorns too, but unicorns they're they're everywhere. Everybody knows where they are. Yeah. But yeah, if Pegasi are like a Canadian exclusive, that would. Huh, I'll have to take a visit sometimes. I mean, New Jersey's not that far away from Canada. The only problem is, is, you know, the thing about with all Canada laws is that uh, you can only have, uh, only only Canadians are able to breed uh, uh, Pegasi, since, you know, they're very Uh, specific about uh, that. They've got those exclusivity rights, I see. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I mean, international copyright is a is a devilish thing to work with, I tell you what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they managed to get Tara Strong to actually, you know, work with, uh, work with them at one point. Tara Strong? Who's that? Uh, she's like this, like, small-time voice actor. She has, yeah. like, a couple of roles, but she she wanted to dabble in the creation of horse, eh, horses at one point. Interesting. Well, we'll see where her career goes, and uh, hopefully it leads to bright pastures. Yeah, hopefully, you know, I'm, I imagine she's a wonderful, lovely person with uh, perfect... Uh, non-objectable opinions so yeah i think uh yeah all right i hope i I wish her the best i wish her the best yeah anyways so real fast um guys we should actually take a second to pause maynard was asking anyway speaking of strong let's give it a nice strong ending because guys as lovely as this is as we all know everything must come to an end and man birdie we gotta have you on more because you are just a Mm -hmm. delight i'd love to be 
Wait, you know, I have an idea. Yeah. Now, I th- hear me out. I think I'm cooking here. Huh? What if Bernie just became one of the main co-hosts of the podcast? If Bernie's up to it, I mean, I wouldn't mind. He's he's over here like you literally saved our friendship, Bernie. And yeah. uh, that, yeah, that's I'm, I'm trying. You know, you know, as as difficult as it is uh, out here, you know, sniffing around in the dirt for table scraps, I would love to uh, to do this more often with you guys. So so guys, I think I think that confirms it. Bernie might just be joining the Out of Our Mains podcast. I mean, I know Okay. I know you guys have gotten tired to mine and Rem's voices for all these episodes. So like They still love Winbers though. But of course oh yeah, I mean Winber 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 when you or uh, <laughs> sorry. It's like he's here. Um <laughs> It's okay. We do look alike. Yeah. Bernie, when you finally uh get to speak to Winber, like you actually get to have a one on one with him, oh, you're gonna love that guy. He he's been a friend of mine for ages and I, I've heard. I've heard a lot of talk. Yeah. So anyways, uh, question time, right, Cole? Yeah, we have to come up with the question of the episode. Bernie, do you have any ideas of, like, questions? Because, you know, every week we always have a... Uh, or every... Sorry, every other week. <laughs> we always have a, a question of the episode where we ask our audience to answer a fun little, uh, a fun little, uh, you know, question thingy. Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. if uh, if you have any ideas, Bernie, uh, throw, throw them at us. Like, just... It could be anything. Yeah, uh, no, I, I'm trying to think. Just a, just any fun little question. Yep, anything. any fun little question. Something that anybody could answer. You know, what's your what's your favorite thing to throw up in the air and then catch? You know what? That's, that's a great a, question. I gotta say, that's one we've never had before. So you know what? You are very Perfect. good at that. And uh, also, of course, um, we always have the uh, well. There's there's the quest, man. It's coming back to me. Sorry, it's been a while since we've recorded an episode. I uh, yeah, I, no worries, no worries. Yeah, uh, there's the um, the image, like you know, we have a to send in a photo. That's what it is. You send in a photo, and well, right now you're going to be seeing all the photos from the previous episode that people sent in. Oh, thank you for sending in so many photos. You guys sent in, well, you guys sent in a lot of photos for this last episode. Like, whoa, yep. whoa, that's a lot of. Fo- okay, yep. that's enough. That's Which, enough. Okay, we get it. We get it. Okay, the photos keep going. Do I just do I just uh Oh uh, yeah, just continue. Yeah, so make I, sure to send it okay, to yeah. us on Twitter There's a lot. At, yeah. out of our Twitter, mains using out of our the, mains yeah. Discord. There's a send pictures chat on the Discord. Again, that's mine and Rem's Discord. Um and mm-hmm. you know the uh the Twitter make sure you to use the uh hashtag main pod. The main pod, yes. Uh that's main like the horse is main. <laughs> 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 um but we need a Okay, the photos are still going. Um, we get it. That's enough photos. Are you done? I, th- I think wow. it stopped. I, I think it did okay, stop. I think- no, wait, there's one more. Phew. And now it's done. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move on to photos for the next episode. Uh, Bernie, what, would, what should the next photo, what should, our, what should our audience send in for us to put into the next episode? Uh, what, what should they send in? Ooh, yeah, my like, goodness. what are they going to take a photo of? A common household item, something that everyone might have. Uh, computer mouse. Ooh, a computer mouse. Not to be confused with an actual mouse. No, not an yeah. actual mouse. That'll make me... Uh, yep, yep. Now, my question, uh, as a, are, are trackpads acceptable, or do they have to be uh, a mouse? If that's what you got, that's what you send. All right, so there so you wait, go. Wait, do, 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 do we have to take it without our mouse pads, or with, or do they, the, sorry, the audience, do you take it with or without the mouse pads? Yeah. I think that's up to viewer discretion. Okay, Fair enough. You know what? And as they say, viewer discretion advised, right? Exactly. So anyway, uh, that was the Out of Our Mains podcast. Uh, I, of course, am your host, the host with the most, Cold Honor Stag. Uh, my co-host, Remin, Rem Violet. Used to be Reminition Violet, but we don't talk about that. Hey, I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I just, well, I just said, we don't talk about that. Um, <laughs> and of course, Winber couldn't be here, but he's with us in spirit. Yes. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, and if there's a force right now in the universe that wants to let me know if I'm forgetting of something, then they should, because I don't think I am. But, we of course have been talking to Bernie Averills. Bernie, do you have anything that you would like to plug before uh, we finish our episode? Uh, there's uh, some channel that keeps uploading like portions of my life. Uh, it's oh? called The Bernie April Saga. Interesting. And everyone should take a look at it. And do you have any Twitters as well? Yeah, Twitters. I do, I have a Twitter account called Bernie Aprils. Right. That would make sense. That is your name. Yes. Anyway, uh, pretty sure we did the outro already. Uh, unless anyone else has anything to say. I think that that wraps up, I think, probably the best episode of the podcast we've ever had. Yep, I agree. This felt like a good one. Yeah, th- I mean, I know you're a big fan, Bernie. You know all of them. So uh, I what am. would you I say? Was this a good one? one? Yeah. 
All right. If Bernie says it's good, it has to be. Anyway, yeah. once again, I've been Cole. Uh, everybody else can outro themselves, and I think uh, I think that that wraps it up for today. I've I've been Rim, the the violet one, the purple one. I'm the purple one. Sorry. And I'm Bernie Aprils, and I've been here. Well, that was pretty wacky. Who knows what will happen in the next installment of the Out of Our Mains podcast? I love you, Cole.